This is a time for Republicans, though, to come home. Uh, and, and when you look at what's going on, I think you're going to see it. You, you do. And we've had quite a two-week period here. And it, it's... <laughs> it's a, quite a one-week period. <laughs> well, you know, the, the Washington Post poll, before Comey said anything on Friday, that, you know, there was a 10-point, you know, he made up 10 points there. So right. I'm not sure where we're And then... Then you got Comey Singh, but then each day, you know, there's more WikiLeaks. And then, you right. know, Brett Baer was reporting some stuff last night on, on the, uh, Look, uh, the Clinton Look. Foundation, that, that that is in high gear, supposedly, according to Brett Baer and according to two sources at the FBI. So I don't know if any of these polls actually measure the current sentiment. I mean, what do you it's think? The, what do you think it's, the actual chances are now? Is it, is it still? I think Trump's about 40 percent now, 45 percent. He just pulled ahead in a in a pretty good poll out of Boston, one point ahead in, in New Hampshire. Uh, really? I, I think Republicans are coming home. Look, I think people are misinterpreting the impact of Comey, though. I think everybody's hoping for a smoking gun. There's not going to be a smoking gun between now and the election. But what Comey did, I think, was rip the scab off this culture of corruption that really encompasses everything that the Clintons get involved with, including the whole Democratic Party. Look at what they did to the DNC when they really tucked it to Bernie Sanders in the primary. You got the Brazil stuff out of CNN. You got the, the tainted process of McAuliffe raising money with the Clintons and then trying to influence the deputy director at the FBI by contributing to his wife's campaign. We got the problem in New Hampshire of play, pay for play. The guy running against my son for governor has gotten caught of refusing to... Uh, rebid a tainted contract, and then the press finds out he got $45,000 in contributions just before that. The Democrats are immersed in pay-for-play stuff across the country. People are feeling that, and they're sensing it's because the Clintons have imposed this culture of corruption on their party. The, uh, the Comey thing is, it, it's kind of interesting to watch, and, and it, it, it's a Rorschach on, on how you view it, but uh, back in July, so many things that I, I, it almost looked to me as if, uh, as if Comey finally succumbed to, to some of just the facts of the situation. It, it just, in, in light of a lot of recent developments, it was like maybe that wasn't the right move back then to, about the grand jury and giving immunity yeah. and all those things that happened. He, he was almost like, the, you know, the weight of, of that error became too great that it almost had to be reopened with all these other well, things going on. I defended him in July. It would have been a very tough call, I think, even though he went through that litany of, of uh, doing it then. I think what he basically said is, I'm giving the Clintons one more chance. We're going to continue looking. And if we come back and, and see this threshold, which was a beneficial threshold to the Clintons, if we see this even better threshold for them crossed, then we're going to go forward with this. And I think the biggest problem the country has right now is, is being afraid of a Clinton victory because she's picked such a lightweight for her vice presidential candidate. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.